Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Well, with a sparkling 21-2 record coming in, the Southeastern Lady Suns have certainly impressed this fall. Tonight, however, would be a different level litmus test for Tim Kerr's crew as we take you to Augusta where the kids were party rocking in the house tonight. This little girl, very cute, watching her sons try to come back. Tell you what, they made a nice little flourish down 22 to 10 in this one. Great throw down here by Kara Twadell. And then it's Colby McClelland, the outstanding freshman. Are you kidding me with this spike? Beautiful stuff from her. But Quincy Notre Dame quickly tired of these shenanigans and put the kibosh to the comeback. It starts with Quinna Keating getting the uh, ball back rolling in favor of the Lady Raiders. Then Cassidy Foley's going to close out game number one, which went in favor of QD. 25 to 12. The Lady Raiders no relent in game number two. As a young Elaine Bennis, I don't know what was up with the thumb dancing tonight, but that was Seinfeldian at best. Good for you, young lady. Get your groove on. Meanwhile, here comes Quincy Notre Dame getting it done again. Kristen Gengenbacher just huge tonight. 22 set assists, six kills. That's what you like to see out of your setter. And Riley Hummert, this another monster kill tonight. She had seven of those as QD wins in straight games over Southeastern. 25 12, 25 to 17. Meanwhile, Quincy Blue Devils winners at home tonight over Galesburg behind. MJ Garkey serving 25 19, 25 16, your final there. The Liberty Lady Eagles jump all over West Hancock, winning 25 13, 25 10. The Macomb Lady Bombers do likewise against Bushnell Prairie City Avon. Audrey Meixner, big night with five blocks and five kills. Also, Jacksonville, congratulations to Crimson coach Gary Hickox, who picks up his 100th career Jacksonville victory. We've got Unity knocking off uh, Western tonight in straight games and Holy Trinity in a battle between the number one and four teams. In the state, it's HTC 25-18, 25-20, 25-11. One softball score to pass along as Monroe City beats Paris 18-2. Hannibal soccer team hosting Kirksville tonight. Great night for a little soccer out there. Fantastic conditions. Fantastic night for Jack Bauman, who's going to come free here and beat everybody to the back of the net to put his team up one to nothing. Bauman not done yet. Awarded a penalty kick just a bit later in the first half, 35 minute mark to be precise. Knocks that home as well. The only scoring of the night, the only scoring Hannibal needed as they knock off Kirksville by the final count in this one of two to nil. Other soccer tonight, Quincy High School secures a share of the Western Big Six crown by beating up on Galesburg, Blake Dittmer. And Michael Longo, we forgot the O there, with two goals each on the evening. Also, in tennis today, Palmyra season comes to an end, at least the team season in districts 5 to 2 to Fulton. We've got cross country today in the rescheduled Oakley Invitational. Liberty sweeps on the boys' side and the girls' side. Brett Gengenbacher, Brett Gengenbacher, I should say, from Liberty, finishes second in that one. Caitlin Obert from Liberty leads her team to victory with a first place medalist finish there. And also down in Jacksonville, Quincy Notre Dame finishes third on the boys' and girls' side. Luke Watson, though, a second place individual si finish on the boys' side. And it would be Holly Dix, a fifth place individual will finish on the girls' side for the Lady Raiders as well. Back to the golf course we go today. We're talking about the Hamilton uh, Regional. We didn't have finals on this one at 6, so we will show it to you. Hunter Bettis and the West Central Cougars, the favorites coming in. They would live up to it today. Bettis very, very good relative to the field today. This a birdie putt on 8. He settles for par and settles for an 81 on the day. That is the second lowest score in the field, as I told you. Uh, dear run, not conducive to low scoring today. His teammate, Jordan McMillan, who was the medalist in this affair last year, I tell you what, not too bad right here. The great approach on number 11. This kid just could not find a putt today, including the birdie effort from right there. Finished with an 88 in the top 10 today. But West Central gets the win today with a 359 team score. Story of the day individually, this young man, Peyton Gordley, just a freshman from Pittsfield, fired an 80 today. He, along with Peter Greening, end up pushing Pittsfield into second place as a team with a 362. Also today, Central advances as well to the sectional on Saturday at Havana. Taylor Hyman with a 90 on the day there as well. Complete and extended golf highlights online. So let's take you to a shorter version of them now. Quincy High School in their regional day playing exceptionally well on their home digs. Zach Smith got it started off with his beautiful putt right here. He fired a 76. How about Alex Shute? The story of the day. Didn't even play among the top six on Saturday in the DA Invitational. He was incredibly good today. In fact, fired an even par 71 to win medalist honors. Zach Burry as well with a 72 as the Blue Devils run away with this thing. Again, extended highlights online now at connecttristates.com, which gives us a little time to go up to the 2A regional at Galesburg today, where Quincy Notre Dame and Macomb were trying to compete. Max Dakin for Macomb with the almost chip in right there. McComb, though, struggled today. The only bomber to get through to the sectional 
was Graham Conrad, who would fire an 81 on the day. Quincy Notre Dame getting very balanced play across the board. Kale Bergtorf, maybe the hero of the day. Very same hole. Beautiful shot for him. He had an 80 today. Uh, Drew Eaton with a 75. And Adam Hudson and Jake Cronkey with 79s. As Q&D finishes second, advances on to the sectional coming up at Metamora on Monday. Finally, two college scores to pass along to you tonight. In college volleyball, it was Culver Stockton getting swept by Evangel. And Quincy University put up a good fight against the number 17 team in the nation, but falls to Truman State at home three games to one. We do it all again with golf tomorrow on the girls' side with regionals near and near. No long drives tomorrow, which makes it kind of nice. All right, thanks, Chris. We'll be right back.